transmitter. By now, no doubt, the Royal Navy is snapping their heels. What's that, Dex? 100 feet, sir. There's about 200 here. Take that to 185. All right, sir, to 185 it is. Someone else on board the submarine. We've got to find him. The engines have stopped. Spender will be looking for us in a moment. And when he finds us? Well, let's hope the Navy finds us first. Find it, Fox. Come on, for heaven's sake, man, find it. Sorry, sir, the signal's gone. The sail has stopped transmitting. Well, keep listening. Now, sir, looks as if Spender's got away with it after all. Commander Leonard, the Navy doesn't yield her submarines to pirates as easy as that. Instruct all aircraft over the submarine's last known position to continue search pattern. Right. Control to Grey Fox 5. Control to Grey Fox 5. Execute holding pattern 360 at Angels 3. Over. Control, Grey Fox 5. We'll now make all ships engaged in Operation Subsearch. Proceed at once with all possible speed to last estimated sound fixed position of the submarine Siana and commence intensified search pattern. Right. Control the subset. Are you, one, two, are you handling it from here? Uh, no, from one of the destroyers. I'm going out to buy a helicopter. Better come with me. I'd like to. All right, don't take it. Control? Commander Leonard speaking. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, he's here. This is the first sea lord. Bain speaking. No sign for you to have lost it. The signal stopped. Well, sir, either transmit it back in, or else Fender has discovered that Bannerman and the boy switched it on. Yes, sir, the scientific journalist who came along in the trials with us, and the boy's his assistant. Well, when Svendler ordered us into the rocks, both Bannerman and the boy managed to stay on board. They must be hiding. That chance is, sir. Well, if we're right in thinking that it's been discovered that the equipment was switched on, then all I can say is I wouldn't like to be in their shoes when Svendler finds them. Mark, why should Svendler find us? Why both of us? What, do you think they believe there was only one still? Well, yes, if only one of us is caught. Then the other one still has a chance. I'll have to try some more sabotage, yes. No, Peter, you know, I've been thinking about that. It's all very well for me, but I can't let you take any more risks. We must stick together. But Mark, I'm you two stay here. Shoes. Hi, here. Look there. Is there anything in here, sir? Check under the bunk. Right, sir. All right, then, I'm coming out. How did you get on board? Does that matter? I'm here. Which is your misfortune. But we've met before. Of course, in London. At the party in honor of Professor Westfield. You're the journalist, Bannerman. And as I recall, you were Dag Svensson of the Communications Institute of Stockholm, wasn't it? She was a good memory. I know when I've seen her face before. Ah, so it was you recognized me. No, not immediately. Later, when I realized you kidnapped Professor Westfield. It was from an illustrated history of the war. Kurt Svendler, U-boat ace. Was a very good photograph of you. <laughs> I've aged a bit since then. So let me congratulate you on an excellent piece of detection. Take him to the control. Uh, Agnes. Mm -hmm. Here, Keep listening. Uh, Benjamin, how long was that transmitter switched on? I don't know. You switched it on. Did I? Don't play the fool with me. How long? Long enough for the Royal Navy to pick up the signal, track it down, and make your escape impossible. What can you hear? Nothing, Captain. That's a very sensitive piece of equipment, Bannerman. Capable of picking up the sound of propellers over considerable distances. But you can hear nothing. He won't have to wait very long. Oh? Uh, there we are. Then it'll be an interesting challenge. Svendler versus the Royal Navy. <laughs>
Red Saturn They're all around us now, Captain. Keep me informed. Red Hawks 5, this is Red Saturn. Pitch Dr. Boyd. Thanks, Dr. Boyd. You were right, Spider-Man. We didn't have to wait long. Everything's secure? All under control, Captain. It's quite a predicament for you, isn't it? I imagine the Navy's got you pinpointed by now. Perhaps, but not for long. In this area, there are strong undertows, which eventually will carry us into deeper water. Perhaps deeper than you think. You sent for me? Yes. Our situation is rather precarious, so I must insist on absolute silence on the boat. So for the present, I would prefer you to stay here. Very well. He wants to keep an eye on us. He doesn't trust us, Dr. Bo Boyd. You're the biochemist, aren't you? Yes. So this is where you disappeared to. And I'm Mark Bannerman, editor of Prospect magazine. You must remember, we published an article of yours last year. Shh! Read it! Idiot, what you tried to do? Give us away? The Royal Navy has listening devices. A sound like that can tell them exactly where we are. Now leave it alone and get out of here. What's that? The bearers of the Royal Navy. Their ships are passing overhead. Anyone get a hockey's bearing on that sound? I'm afraid nothing. I've heard it, it wasn't time to get a bottom fix on it. Zero, 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 zero. It's readless one four steps so far, and we've failed to take advantage of it. It isn't good enough. My elastic boys must be ready to leap onto the back of the slightest sound. Did you hear anything? No, sir. You're imagining things, Spendler. There it is again. I heard it that time, sir. Sounds as though we've touched something. It's just something scraping against the side. That's not outside. It's in here somewhere. Piece of loose equipment, sir. Whatever it is, I'll find it. Who's moved that spanner? There's someone else on board. I'll search this ship until we find it. Engine full ahead together, sir. We've got to make a run for it. It's our only chance. Just a positive thing. That's only for you, Major. Intermarrying 210 to 310 yards. I'm saying, yeah. Intermarrying 210 to 310 yards. Very good. You must be making a dash. Well, get after him. Get after him. They're after us. Steady on 235. Steady on 235, sir. Very good. I might have known the boy would be with you. Well, you didn't, did you? If I am caught because of your efforts. Dr. Boyd, thank you for not giving Peter away when you saw him. Had nothing to do with me. Oh, weren't you kidnapped as well? I should have thought an attempt to escape might interest you. What interests me is no concern of yours. Well, can't you tell us what's going on here? What's Miller's up to? Where he's taking us? Look, if you help us, we may be able to help you. Really, I don't need your help. 
way. Our ship's about 400 yards astern, sir, and closing. Very good. Something else, sir, another echo. Bearing green 095. Range is about 600 yards. What is it? Something big. A strong echo. An aircraft carrier. Perhaps rather a big one, if it is. A liner. This is more likely. Get me its course and speed. Very good. Stand by for the course. Aye, aye, sir. Zero, sir. Estimated speed, 18 knots. Very good. Steer 270 degrees. Steering 270 degrees, sir. What's the use, Vander? Surface and surrender. I have a better idea. Come here. Now. What is the draft of an ocean liner? Me? Yes. How much water does an ocean liner draw? 30, 40 feet. Not bad. Take that up to 80. Aye, aye, sir, to 80 feet. What are you trying to do, Sandler? There's an ocean liner on our starboard beam. I'm going to ride with her to deeper water. You won't get past the Navy. Your Navy's about to lose me permanently. I'm going to be tucked under that liner's keel. Too close to give them an echo. 80 feet, sir. Very good. Take her to 60 feet. Yes, sir, you're out of your mind. One mistake about liner will carve us in two. And that is a risk we'd have to share. <laughs> Listen to her engines. Here she comes. 60 feet off. Stand by to bring her around to the same course as the liner. 220 degrees. Standing by 220 degrees, sir. Hold her there. Hold her there. Aye, aye, sir. Now, bring her to the new course. 220 degrees, sir. She directly above us. to do with you. You've begun quite a problem. I can't put you ashore or even dump you over the side. Servicing would be an unnecessary risk. So? So? I don't admit her much choice. You stay on board until we reach Egeria. Egeria? Where's that? Our destination. I've never heard of Egeria. Well, you're on your way there now. However, for the present, you'll be confined to your quarters. You're afraid we'll question Dr. Boyd, aren't you? That's one reason. Well, you needn't worry. She doesn't seem very keen to talk to us. What's she doing here, anyway? Working. We needed a biochemist in Nigeria, and she's about the best there is. You're very calm about taking away people's liberty, aren't you? It's complete freedom to work. Work on what? At present, on a synthesis of a particular strain of seaweed. She needed certain equipment, which I managed to obtain in London while I was there. Whilst obtaining Professor Westfield? Yes. Dr. Boyd's work is important. That's why she was sent on this mission with me. Sent? By whom? That's something you'll find out later. Well, why not tell us now? For the same reason that you're wearing those handcuffs. I don't trust you. Come in. 
Carl Leonard. I've just been studying these intelligence reports on Kurt Svendler. You know you must believe lost at sea near the end of the war? Yes, sir. Well, intelligence say that at the time of his supposed death, he was working on a top secret project for his government. Oh? What was it? No one knows. Germans destroyed all records during the last days of the war. Men associated with the project were either killed or disappeared. But this much we do know. The man in charge of that secret project was Professor Ludwig Siebrecken. Ludwig Siebrecken? Who's he? Oh, come now, Leonard, do not him. He was a genius of oceanography. Yes, he was. You mean he's dead now? Siebrecken also disappeared. We believed him dead. But we thought that of Svendler, too. Yes, but if Siebrecken's alive, where is he? What's he doing? Look, uh, sit down. Now, look, it isn't coincidence that Westfield was kidnapped at the same time as the Siana. Westfield is the seventh scientist who disappeared in the last five years. Now, the Siana's been missing for 14 days. And I believe if we could find out where she's heading, we'd find those scientists. And I think we'd find something else. Something pretty terrifying. We've got to find the Siana. Okay. 550 feet, sir. Take her to 500. All right, sir. The 500 is here. Hello. Uh, Fetch Benerman and the boy. Guys. Anything yet? Yes, sir. Just coming. Good. Pipe the signal through the speaker system. Right up. Are you glad to be home? Back again. Yes, sir. 503 sir. Very good. Ah, Bannerman. Morning. What's that? Egeria. But it's a radio signal. Yes. Oh, we're still underwater. Radio waves do travel underwater. Oh, yes, but only short distances. Take it to 490. All right, sir, 490. We use the same system as aircraft sometimes do for bad weather landing. Oh, I know. The signal changes according to your position. If you're too low, it's one. If you're too high, it's another. Which are we? The one you can hear now means we're on course. Underwater? Yes. Stop engines. Stop engines, sir. Half a stern engines. Half a stern engine, sir. Oh, what's happening now? We're approaching the engines. Pumping pressure times now. Finish with engines. Finish with engines. Helmsman, fetch Dr. Boyd. Aye, aye, sir. Heller, unhandscuff them. Hey, it's steady on. Mark, I don't believe it. Mark, I don't believe it. Oh, what don't you believe? Well, that we're still underwater. Why not? No, it's all being done to fool us. Oh, maybe takes her in blind, but underwater. It's ridiculous. Look at the depth indicator. It says we're on the surface. Yes. A few minutes ago, it said 500 feet. Well, you wait and see. You see what I mean. He preset it to fool us. Open up. Hi. Ah, Dr. Boyd. Welcome back to Egeria. Is your new equipment satisfactory? Yes, I've tested it all. It seems most satisfactory. He'll be pleased. you better get it ready for unloading. Now, gentlemen. Well, say what happens next. I'm afraid I can't say, Benerman. It's no longer my decision. But you'll soon know. Up to you. Mark! What is it? I don't know. Anyway, we'll soon find out. Come on. Up here. Fascinating, eh, Benerman? Sir. Short generators and power tubes connected up. All auxiliaries and air conditioning units closed down. Sir. Very good. Sir. It looks like one, Peter. You know something? Somehow I don't think it is. Shh. Say that's right now.
Wait. It's open up. Okay. It looks like some kind of aurora borealis. Northern lights. It does a bit. Perhaps that's it, Mark. We're in the polar region. No, no, we couldn't be in the Arctic. We were in the submarine too long. Antarctica. That's where we are, Antarctica. Uh, Spendler said it was Egeria. Egeria, Egeria. You know, Peter, that name makes some sort of sense. Oh, how? Well, the word itself. It has sort of it. Egeria, Egeria. Hey, wait a minute. Do you remember that voice over the speaker? Yes, I couldn't quite understand it. But it said something about being over a cradle. A cradle is a framework you rest a boat on when it's out of the water. Well, you mean Sianna's on dry land? Yes, in a sense. That voice also said, pumping pressure change. Well, I couldn't work that one out either. Well, it's quite simple, really. If a Sianna had entered a Geary under the water, then some of the water would have had to have been pumped out before we could have left the boat. Yes, that's true. Yes, the water could have been forced out by air. We must be on the surface of the depth indicator read zero feet. Well, yes, of course it did. Once the water had been pumped out, the pressure inside the pen would be reduced to normal. But, Mark, that's ridiculous. That means the Siana is still under the water. Siana, Siana, Siana. Now, that's mythology. Mythology. Peter, that's it, mythology. What? Look, you know who Siana was, don't yes, you? Yes, she was a Greek goddess who was famous for a diving. And Aegir was a Scandinavian god. A malevolent, evil god whose kingdom lay beneath the sea. You mean that's the ocean up there? Yes, Peter. Aegiria is under the sea. And I... And Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> 